Welcome to Philosophy W12A, Introduction to Logic. My name is Wesley Holliday. I'm a professor at Berkeley in the Department of Philosophy and the Group in Logic and the Methodology of Science, and I'll be your instructor for this course. Many of you probably hadn't heard of logic as a field of study before coming across this course. If you look up the word logic in a dictionary, you might find a definition like, the science that investigates the principles governing correct or reliable inference. That's not a bad definition, because it makes clear why logic is important. Correct or reliable reasoning is valuable in every field you can think of. That universal applicability of logic is really impressive. For me, one of the most exciting aspects of teaching this course is the opportunity to reach students with all sorts of interests. My own family history reminds me of the interdisciplinary appeal of this course. In college, I was a philosophy major. My mother was an English major, and my father studied physics. If you looked at our college transcripts, you probably wouldn't see too much overlap in courses. But one course that we all took and really enjoyed was an introduction to symbolic logic. This makes a lot of sense to me now. Both humanities majors and science majors can benefit from being exposed to the razor-sharp analysis of reasoning that's involved in symbolic logic. Logic is an old subject, having been one of the main branches of philosophy since Aristotle. What we call symbolic logic arose in the 19th and 20th century and unleashed a wave of powerful applications, from philosophical analysis to the foundations of mathematics, from the theory of computing to digital technology. Every time you use your computer or smartphone, it's taking advantage of the basic laws of logic that we'll learn about in this course. By the end of the course, we'll see how logic can be useful and, I hope, even beautiful. I look forward to taking this adventure with you, and I'll see you online.